Greetings. This video discussion is to talk about my experience getting my Access uh, 5534 PTZ camera to work in WebEx and other recording software such as Adobe Presenter or Camtasia. So how do you do this? Well, I've opened up a WebEx Training Center uh, session. Uh, this works the same as any WebEx, it's just Training Center. And notice over here I'm bringing in a feed from a video camera. This particular feed is my uh, HD um, Logitech HD webcam next to me. That Logitech, Logitech HD webcam is a, it connects with a USB cable to my computer. Uh, because the USB camera connection provides uh, what Microsoft needs to see this as a camera, I, I think it's a direct show driver, uh, I'm able to see that camera in WebEx. However, how do I see my PTZ camera? So if you click uh, by default, you can't just plug your uh, Access IP security camera into your computer with a USB cable, so you have to come up with another mechanism. Well, if you click, if I click on, um, the, and the way to do that is with the Access Streaming Assistant. Uh, Access on their website, if you go to their website, access.com, and you search for Streaming Assistant, you can download this for free just by registering an account. Once you do so and you install it, the icon looks like this you can click on the streaming assistant. Now keep in mind the streaming assistant is a 32-bit application which means the applications that you use to view this camera must also be 32-bit. So I'm now looking at the Access P5534 camera. When you first load the streaming assistant it will search the network and find a Access camera and tell you that a channel has been made available. You can simply then click add. You double click on it and there's really not a lot of configuration here you can disable or enable sound. I found it's best to disable the sound. Uh, and then you can choose the display format. And on the advanced tab, you can choose the resolution. That's pretty much all that you can do. Once you've done so, I've noticed that it's best to close the Access Streaming Assistant. You don't need to leave it open. Just close it. Now that I've done so, in my WebEx Training Center, I can, training center, I can click the gear. And I can select, instead of my Logitech HD Pro Cam, I can now select the, the, the interface called Access P5534. That now shows me the camera that you see up on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and now my primary display in WebEx is the uh, um, is the Access camera. Now I discovered a really cool trick the other day. If I run two WebEx Training Center simultaneously so I run, uh, run two interfaces so I join this as one person and as another uh, then I can actually display both videos and I can switch in between them as required. But just to go to show you now, now that I've got the Access camera running in my WebEx session, I'm going to go ahead and put this in full screen mode so you can tell that I'm in there. This is now being viewed through WebEx, just to show you. Now, what you can do is you can open up a web browser and you can point to the live view of the Access P5534 uh, camera. As you can see here, I am now viewing that camera through the web interface. And now if I were to move this around or zoom in, so let's say I were to go over, oops, if I were to go over, well, I'm turning myself upside down now and I'm looking up into the ceiling, ah. But just to show you, I've changed the view of the camera. And now over here, you'll notice that WebEx is now also displaying the changed view of the camera. The most powerful thing to do is to do this with uh, PTZ presets. So if you go into the uh, setup mode of the camera, you can go into PTZ and we can go ahead and program a uh, preset. So let me, let me create a preset here. So I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. I'm going to zoom it in. We're going to zoom in on my logo here on the window. I've noticed, by the way, when I'm doing this, you know, when you're trying to set a pre-TZ pre preset when doing this, it's always a good idea to, to um, use the fine-tune controls up here. But once you can do that, you can now focus it. There we go. Now we're focused in on the Ingram Micro logo there. Okay, so there we go. So let's say I want to call this uh, preset logo. Now I'm going to click Add. There. Now I can go to the Live View. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, a different stream profile here. Now I'm going to condense this down to just view the size of the screen here so I can easily see it. 
Now let's let's go to the let's go to this one right here. So I'm now in this pre-TZ PTZ preset. So now notice that in my WebEx session I'm doing this. So let's say I was doing a training, and during the training I wanted the camera to focus on something else. I could very easily have somebody select the preset uh, and have it automatically go there, and my WebEx training session is now showing that that preset. So I'm doing a lot of fun stuff with this, especially when having multiple attendees with different cameras. I'm also setting up a variety of access cameras in my environment and having WebEx connect each one of them and showing particular feeds. So anyway, there you go. That's how you use uh, um, the Access Streaming Assistant to display your camera in WebEx and other tools. Thank you very much.